let's uh, continue with uh, unit three in your smart choice uh, two books. I want to uh, skip the listening page and uh, just go ahead and do the reading, the reading page uh, together. So you guys should be on page uh, 20, page 20, we'll do the reading. Have you ever seen anything like this? Have you ever seen anything like this? Okay, so let's do the reading page uh, together. Okay, so look at the picture first. Okay, what's happening? It looks like he's uh, skydiving, right? Skydiving, doing something very adventurous. Okay, so I will read and you guys can just uh, listen. So have you ever seen anything like this? In 1966, two American skydivers named Michael Pelkey and Brian Schubert parach parachuted from the top of the El Capitan rock formation in Yosemite National Park, California, and inspired the base jumping phenomenon. Base jumping is leaping from a fixed structure and then opening a parachute. Base stands for building antenna span, for example, a bridge, and earth, usually a cliff. One of the most famous base events is the Kuala Lumpur Tower International Jump in Malaysia. Every year, people jump from the 335 meter high roof of the KL Tower. In 2015, 117 people from 26 different countries did the jump. Another favorite building for base jumping in Malaysia are the Petronas Twin Towers, which are about 450 meters high. The first person to jump off the Petronas Towers was Felix Baumgartner from Austria. When he did it in 1999, he set a new world record for the highest parachute jump from a building. The same year, he also set the world record for the lowest base jump, when he jumped 29 meters from the hand of the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Base jumpers have often made appearances in movies, including several James Bond movies. One of the most dramatic jumps was in the opening sequence of A View to a Kill, when stuntman B.J. Worth jumped off the Eiffel Tower in Paris, 300 meters above the ground. It looks very easy when professionals do it, but base jumping is extremely dangerous and illegal in many places. Everyone should think twice before trying it. Okay, so the article is about base jumping, when they jump off uh, buildings or bridges uh, or like a high cliff, okay, and then they use the parachute, okay? So let's answer some questions about base, base jumping. Okay, let's do part two. We'll do it uh, together for part two. Okay, so number one, read the article, complete the questions, then match them with the answers. Okay, so number one, so did Pelkey and Schubert jump from El Capitan? Okay, so we should put when, okay, when did, let's, let's write when. When did Pelkey and Schubert jump from El Capitan? Okay, the answer should be C, in 1966. Okay, and two, okay, what should we write for the question? We should write uh, how many people, right, how many? How many people jumped from the KL Tower in 2015? Okay, A, 117. Okay, three, how high, how high are the Petronas Towers? Okay, about 450 meters. Okay, E. Four, who was the first person to jump off the towers? B, Felix Bumgartner. Okay, and five, uh, where did BJ Worth jump from in a view to a kill? Okay, D, the Eiffel Tower. 
Okay, and then for uh, part three, group work, let's discuss these questions. Which words do you think, which words do you think describe base jumping and jumpers? Okay, so what do you think? Are base, base jumpers, or what do you think? Are they brave, uh, crazy, dangerous, exciting, or something other? Okay, so what do, what do you think? Um, you can choose more than one if you want. You can choose more than one. So maybe I think they are brave and maybe a little crazy, okay? Because it's they have to be brave, right? They need a lot of courage to do these jumps but also have to be a little crazy, right? Because it's so, it seems so dangerous, so dangerous, okay? What, what do you think? Okay, and do you want to try something like this? Okay, why or why not? Okay, so you can say, oh, I think these people are crazy. So do I, I don't want to try something like that. Okay, so what about you? What do you think about these base jumpers? Okay, and then we'll just do this last page, page 21. The speaking, the speaking page. Okay, speaking page in the books. So let's talk about it together. Okay, so I want you to find someone who, find someone who has done these things. Okay, so look at the questions in the survey and then add two more questions to the list. So if you can find somebody to talk with and you can ask, have you ever run a marathon? So maybe you can ask uh, your partner or ask a friend. And have you ever tried bungee jumping? Okay, so maybe, maybe you did it or maybe your friend did it. You could write down his name or her name. Or you could say, oh yes, um, uh, so he tried bungee jumping. And what are some, what's some extra information? Maybe, oh, so he tried bungee jumping in Gangwangdo. Okay, have you ever taken dance lessons? Um, so you can say, oh, yes, I have. So you can say, oh, okay, Rodri. Rodri's taken dance lessons. You can write down my name, Rodri. Okay, oh, he did salsa. He did some salsa dance lessons. Okay, or you can find one of your friends and ask them what kind of dance lessons they did. Okay, four, have you ever flown in a helicopter? Have you ever won an award? Oh yes, I won an award for an English speech contest when I was in high school. Okay, or maybe one of your friends won an award for science or math, okay. Have you ever sung in public? Okay, so sing, sang, sung, okay. I sang yesterday at the Noribang. Um, or I have sung in public before. Okay, so sung is the present perfect. Okay, so maybe, maybe one of your friends sung in public, you can write down his name. Maybe Jiwon sung in public, okay. He sung at uh, his high school auditorium. Have you ever visited another country? Okay, so find someone who's visited another country or maybe you did, okay. So maybe you can write um, Alex, my friend Alex, he visited Canada before. And have you ever written a poem? Okay, have you ever written a poem? So maybe one of your friends wrote a poem, you can write down his name. You can say, oh, he wrote a poem for a poetry contest in middle school. Okay, and for number nine and 10, you guys make a question, okay? Have you ever been to Jeju Island? Or have you ever gone uh, dancing in Dunsandong? Okay, <laughs> you can make a question, you can make it fun, and then ask your partner, okay? All right, and then you can say, oh yes, Rod Rodri has been uh, dancing in Dunsandong, okay? He went to Ibiza, Ibiza nightclub to go dancing. All right, so write some extra information about the questions you made. Okay, 
So that's it for the student book. And we'll check your answers for the workbook. OK, so make sure that you guys try to do the homework first in the workbook, the pages that I told you to do Okay, in, in your workbooks. OK, I, I asked you to do uh, the pages uh, unit for unit three. Do it before you're 30. OK, page 11. So you guys can check your answers after doing it first yourself. OK, so we'll start with the vocabulary. So number two, go bungee jumping. Three, go skydiving. Four, driving a race car. Five, riding a motorcycle. Six, go windsurfing. Seven, go zip lining. And eight, go parasailing. Okay, part two. Number two, you jump from a plane using a parachute. Okay, that's uh, skydiving. Okay, three, you stand on a board with a sail, windsurfing. You hold on to a small plane that doesn't have a motor. Okay, hang gliding. Okay, let's go to page 12 in your workbooks. Okay, let's look at the language practice, part one. Number two, have you ever played football? Yes, I have. Three, have Manuel and Nick ever eaten Korean food? No, they haven't. Four, has your brother ever gone zip lining? Yes, he has. Have you, sorry, number five, have I, have I ever driven your car? No, you haven't. Six, have we ever met them? Yes, we have. Part two, number two, they've never run a marathon. Three, Eva has never visited Australia. I've never tried parasailing. Have you ever traveled to Italy? We've never bought a car, bought a car. Okay, let's do uh, part three. Number two, I have never eaten Indian food. Three, Frank has gone to Brazil three times. Four, I have never seen a pyramid. Five, have you ever ridden a camel? Six, have they ever driven a race car? Okay, part four, we'll correct the sentences. Okay, number two, we have never been to Canada. We have never been to Canada. Three, have you ever tried Paris? Sorry, have you ever tried skydiving? Have you ever tried skydiving? And four, have they ever met a movie star? Have they ever met a movie star? OK, we'll do part five. OK. Have you ever gone parasailing? Yes, I went parasailing in Jamaica three years ago. Did you like it? Yes, I did. It was a lot of fun. How about you? No, I've, I've never tried parasailing, but I've gone windsurfing. That's really exciting. Wow, where did you do that? In California. Okay, we'll do part six. Okay, so have you ever climbed a mountain? Yes, I have. I climbed a mountain in South Korea two years ago. Did you like it? Yes, I did. It was a lot of fun. How about you? No, I haven't. But I've gone hang gliding. That's really exciting. Cool. Where did you do that? Okay, in Venezuela. OK, and then for part seven, you guys make a similar conversation to part six. Use your own ideas. OK, so 
you could say, oh, have you ever taken a cruise ship? Or have you ever gone bungee jumping? Okay, it's up to you. You guys can make it. Okay, your choice. Okay, so I, I said, have you ever gone bungee jumping? Okay, yes, I have. Okay, I went bungee jumping in uh, Gangwangdo uh, two years ago. Okay, about two years ago. Okay, so did you like it? Okay, uh, yes, I did. It was a lot of fun. Okay, cool. Where did you do that? Okay, uh, in uh, South Korea. Okay, so just make make a similar conversation. All right. So please remember to keep doing the homework in the workbook. Okay, make sure you're doing it because I'm gonna check your your workbooks later. Okay, so look for the next uh, video uh, next week um, for uh, unit four. Thank you.